Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with Shikimori's Not Just a Cutie episode number 10 reaction. Okay, the previous episode, um, the first thing that happened was um, you were sick. So that's why Shikimori and Inu, Inuyama, yeah, I always mix up Inuyama and Nekozaki's name. Uh, uh, Shikimori and Inuyama, both of them go to like, you know, decide to go and visit him and we get a little bit of uh like you know conversation between them and we always knew how shikimori kind of got jealous about how you always ask inu yama about like another you know, stuff not asking her so the, like you know we kind of get a more um like you know like a more elaboration on the relationship between inu yama and Sh uh, shikimori uh, she kind of thinks of him like her brother like you know her, like her elder brother that's why like she kind of misspoke and they just called him Nissan <laughs> which was a little bit embarrassing you know and uh, yeah all that like you know stuff happened and uh, yeah so that was the first part the next part we get to hang out with Kamiya and um, you know like Shikimori, uh, Neko, Zaki and uh, Kamiya all of them hanged out and uh, Neko Zaki was kind of surprised to see how uh, Kamiya was actually going along with them be because before this she barely even like interacted with anyone always turned down you know her uh, invitations and stuff so yeah she was kind of surprised and by the end of it she says she sees how she's trying to you know actively become friends with them and she's kind of good friends with Shikimori they do a lot of things you know like they uh, uh play, like you know, the, click some pictures there was like a basketball match between two random girls as well and all that stuff happened so in the end neko asks kamiya about you know the reason for her change and if she knows izumi or not and which is why you know, she kind of hesitated and by the end of it she says that wait for me i'm going to when i'll be able comfortable enough to talk about these situations i'll talk with you and neko was like yeah all right i'll do that and we can see how they are like you know like they were always good friends but now the you know the active uh like you know the, the way kamiya used to not interact with others and everything like you know she's trying to get out of that and trying to actively become friends probably uh definitely because of izumi's influence and uh yeah like hopefully it goes in a good direction so let's begin with this episode this episode number 10 so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one Go. Athletic festival. Damn, so many festivals. Oh, the athletic festival. Okay, okay. The sports festival. Lottery. Hmm. <laughs> oh, no, I mean yeah he's unlucky that's why oh lord here we go <laughs> oh boy oh hachinutsu oh no she is she <laughs> it'll be hilarious if these two if both of them are bad at sports oh lord here we go like I said, both. <laughs> Wait, who's this new character? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Inu Yamakan. Inuska, oh my god, why do I their name I why do I mix their name up so much? What's wrong with me? Oh Inuzuka, okay. <laughs> Yo oh stop Shikimori is Inuzuka Nikosaki, yeah. Wait. Okay, I'll talk about this later. 
Well, <laughs> indoor C. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> e oh, boy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, the thing. I don't know why. Oh my god. Like, you know how I mix their names up? I don't know where I got the Yama from, but I always. I thought, like, either, like, you know, one was Inu and one was Neko. Is Neko. I know, like, one of their, like, you know, suffixes is Zaki. And the other one, I thought it was Yama. So I always used to switch it up, you know, like. Now I'm realizing at the tenth episode that Neko's name is Neko Z Zaki, yeah, and In Inu's name is Inu Zuka. Inu Zuka and Neko Zaki. I don't know where the hell I got that Yama from. Like, I myself realize it today. Like, oh God. Like, I struggle with these two's names so much. Like, the reason behind it because is because one is Neko and another one is Inu. So, the suffix is the one which kind of confuses me. So, Neko Zaki and Inu Zuka. Zaki and Zuka, alright. Oh boy. I don't know where the hell I got the Yama from. The desire to win, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh boy. Wait, there are five. Oh, this is a relay, okay, okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay, Nekozaki first. Next is Hachimitsu, then Izumi, Shikimori, and then Inuzuka. All right. So Inuzuka will be the final one. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. All right. Izumi is gonna trip. Like there you go. The whole thing went out. <laughs> Run. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. Other events. Damn. Uh. All right. Practice. Yeah, there you go. Oh boy, it's night. Okay. That's good. Oh! Oh my god, it's like a zombie. <laughs> what the hell? 
Ota. No, she kind of saw, yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. All right, here we go. It's time to see. Wow. Okay. I hope it goes that properly. <laughs> now there is, yeah, there is a little bit of a frown there. Crack some jokes. <laughs> okay. I love the way. Oh, no! But I think he's he's strong. He's quite strong. He no, he's strong. If if you remember that episode. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Ad libbing. <laughs> oh yeah, voiceover. Never mind. <laughs> Other oh, ball toss, yeah. Oh boy, Hachimitsu is going to have a tough time with this one. Well, there goes that plan. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's like, you know, her height is short, that's why it'll also be an extra problem for her. But I guess if you can properly aim and... Oh damn, that's high! What the hell? How can we throw that high? <laughs> what? Yeah, what? How did it reach there? I don't understand. What is this? What is this animal logic? What is this animal logic? That's impossible. No way someone can throw like that and it can get in that high. <laughs> so, so Hachimitsu scored all the points. Oh, okay. Oh, so still she didn't win. Oh, okay. Good job. <laughs> All right. What the happy faces? Yeah. Okay, let's see what happens in the relay. Oh. What? Oh boy. Let's just stay tied. <laughs> uh. 
All right. Damn the wind. The anime wind. <laughs> ah. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's <laughs> love them, love them. Because of ah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay so here we go the first one will be Hachimitsu yeah okay there you go then Izumi <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a face. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, she's being overtaken. Yep. Oh my god, I, I hope she doesn't trip or something. Yep, I knew this was going to happen. Uh, like, I, I thought Izu was going to trip, obviously. I didn't think she was also going to trip. Uh, okay. Alright, get up, move. Oh, oh boy, she's confused. Yeah. Oh. Oh damn, she's bleeding. God. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Well, Shikimori and Inuzuka are there, so. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Like I said, like the Shikimori and Inuzuka are there, so they can probably 
<laughs> yeah, if he can keep the pace or at least overtake at least one person, leave the shoe, just run. Leave the shoe. Yeah, leave the shoe, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I don't think yeah, it's much of a problem for her or Inusuka, so <laughs> Damn. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> Yo, see she she herself could have won this relay on her own, I feel like. <laughs> oh Yep. Yeah, the she's getting tired. Nah, he's just because there. Yo. <laughs> yeah, think about that and run. <laughs> All right, come on, turn, turn around. Yeah, and she came, uh, Izumi did not fall, yeah. And the final is up to him. Okay. There you go, nice. Yeah, this is the first time I've seen so much emotion on her face. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. God praise to high heavens. No, oh, this is the flag or no, what is that? The banner, I think. <laughs> nah. -ha. Yep. First time we see her smile so genuinely. <laughs> Mm. All right, that was that was a good episode. Huh. 
I like how this show is kind of picking up the pain, you know? Like the first part of the show was a little bit slow, I feel like, uh, the pace. But for the couple of, from the couple of episodes, I think, like for the past two to three episodes, um, like kind of from the half, halfway mark of the show, it started going in a very, like, you know, I have to say, like, with a character development way. I don't know if that's a word. <laughs> Like the different ways that everything, the whole thing started with Kamiya, you know, like as soon as Kamiya came into the whole equation, the show kind of changed and I like the way it changed. And obviously the Kamiya's episode was one of the best episodes. The next one was also really good. The whole, you know, like um, uh, Kamiya uh, making friends and everything. And obviously this episode was also really good. And I love the fact, one thing that this show, I really like about this show is that it's pure slice of life, you know, like, okay, is there something else? No, that's it. Okay, uh, like I was saying, um, I like the fact that it's pure slice of life, that there is, obviously there's a lot of, like, you know, situations that these characters have to go through and everything, you know, uh, all that stuff. But the things that we usually see in, like, you know, like, in slice of life animes, that is cultural festival like um fireworks uh, going to like you know like the, some kind of a vacation and uh, like the uh, you know sports festival all these christmas valentines all these things these these are like the main things that happen in uh, the concise of life shows these main events um i like how they kind of like you know in, in this show like for example this show was purely completely just focused on the sports festival and what happened and they did not show us that that many like you know things like usually in like you know sports festival or cultural festival like you know animes like one episode whichever there is they kind of go to different like you know like uh characters go to different uh like you know the the, the different like you know top with the sports and everything that they're playing all those different things they kind of jump from one thing to another and there's like two to three like you know sections of the episode I like that this was completely focused on a group of characters, five of them, and they just completely focused on one, only one of the uh, things. Uh, the other ones kind of were kind of showed little, you know, but the main one was the relay, and that's why they were able to, like, in the maximum part of the episode was focused on the relay, and that's why I feel like it was done in a, in a, in a very good way, and I really enjoyed that part. So yeah anyways um so okay we begin this episode with <clears throat> the sports festival being announced and uh, you know like they're, they're doing uh, a, a ballot on who will be in the uh different uh you know like the different uh, uh like, you know sports things for example uh boys and girls mixed relay obviously these five were there and i can see there's a few other like you know Topics here like scavenger hunt race, relay, uh, athletic uh, festival themes, all these. So, <clears throat> okay. So, we begin with uh, Izumi and Hachimitsu, both of them getting picked into the boys and girls mixed relay. And, uh, you know, later on, uh, like, you know, Shikimori kind of changed with the other girl and all, you know. Like, and Inuzuka also came in, uh, ne Nekozaki came in, uh, and everyone was like, you know, like, in, they're, they're, all of their names were like in the same place, and they were like, all right, this is good. All of like, you know, our group is in the same, uh, uh, like, you know, uh, category, so it'll be a great uh, time. At first, Hachimitsu was not very happy about the situation. Obviously, she doesn't, like, you know, go outdoors that much, and she's quite, kind of like, you know, a little bit she, she she gets tired in these type of situations and she's not that much good in sports uh and uh, she uh, izumi as well same thing but after seeing like you know, her friends were there she was like all right this might be good <laughs> i love how <laughs> when <laughs> when hachimitsu was like ah you know what it's fine because i feel like izumi you know is with me so you know like i won't feel that bad but even if i fail izumi will also be there with me alongside 
and then <laughs> Inuzuka was like, it's not as if he, she, he's slow. He's, he, he, he walks and uh, runs at a normal pace. It's just that he trips a lot. <laughs> Hachimitsu was like, what? So am I the only one who's slow here? <laughs> uh, okay, anyways. Um, after that, uh, they begin a little practice. And uh, all, all of the, like, you know, the whole group, uh, they start practicing in like, you know, like the, the relay. And how this is going to go is like Neko's, uh, uh, Nekozaki is going to start. Uh, then will be Hachimitsu, then will be Izumi, then will be Shikimori, and then will be Inuzuka. Inuzuka will be the final one. I think they called him the anchor. Yeah, I think the final one is called the anchor. I think so, yeah. So, all right. So we begin the practice. And obviously Neko, Nekozaki was, did it pretty well but Hachimitsu was just kind of <laughs> kind of like you know, running very slowly <laughs> and then after Izumi got it Izumi the first thing he did was trip but you know like he then got up again and started running and here we can kind of see that uh, at, at, like you know seeing that scene Hachimitsu you know like Hachimitsu like she said later on that I usually don't try in these type of situations because I know I won't be able to do it but seeing that you guys were like you know so excited and everything i wanted to see us win i wanted to see the smile that you would like you know everyone would give us when uh like you know after we win how much like you know it will how nice it will feel that's why i also want to win <clears throat> and seeing izumi getting up and running again probably made her realize that yeah like you know i, I should you know like i should give it my all this time because this time it's not only me but my friends are also here with me and me like you know failing at this will obviously affect the whole result and i don't want my friends their hard work to go to waste because of me so i'm pretty sure that's what went on his mind or her mind in that moment and uh, the thing about this is like hachimitsu she knows she she's not good at sports and you know she probably never even you know like she, she since she doesn't want to do these type of things she probably doesn't even practice that much and all so you know that's why but the thing with izumi is he's unlucky he just trips and falls so for hachimitsu she needed that like you know like you know like change of mind and she needed to make up her mind to run seriously and take this thing seriously because usually she doesn't do that you know in these type of situations but this time her friends were also there with her so the result becomes very important to her at this moment. That's why she had to made up her mind that, yeah, this time I'll have to give it my all because it's not only me, but everyone's like, you know, fate is with me. And, and like, it's, it's going to uh, rely on my participation and how I participate here as well. So Izumi was like, you know, already prepared from the beginning. She, her, his mind was ready to do this, but his problem is he, he's unlucky, he just trips and everything. So, yeah, making up the mind, that was the biggest part of Hachimitsu here. And after, like, you know, they, they, they kind of, like, you know, do the, like, you know, do the uh, practice and all. And after they go away, Hachimitsu and Izumi stay behind to do a little bit more practice. And, um, yeah, they keep practicing. And here's where she said, you know, like, it's, like, you know, I, I hate running because it's not like you'd get anything out of doing that. But this time is different. It's like you know, if I, if we win, it's going to make you guys happy. So I want to see that. You know, even if it wears me out, it's still good. Like you know, I, good for me. I'll try my best, and I'll try to win because you guys are involved in this. And uh, yeah, that's like you know, the conversation they had. And after that, I'm guessing they also practice a lot more. And on the day of the relay, um, you know, everyone's ready. We begin with a few other things for, for the first was the uh, the cavalry battle i think that's what they call it you know where they like, kind of become like the horse like you know three of them are like the horse and one is on top and there's like a band on top of the head and they kind of try to get the other person's band and the amount of bands you're going to collect is you're going to win it uh that type of a thing and we see this in multiple animes and like you know, Hachimitsu was like, oh, will Izumi be able to do it? But as we know, Izumi is strong, you know, because uh, of his unluckiness, he had to become strong. Nothing you could do about it. <laughs> he automatically becomes strong because he, like, every day is a fight for him. 
So yeah, obviously Shikimo is just smitten with that. <laughs> and unfortunately they lost by the end. And then comes the um uh, the, the the ball throw uh, I think that's what it, they call it or uh, the ball toss there you go girls ball toss and uh, yeah I don't know why they made it that high like what type of a like you know <laughs> that was so high up <laughs> who's going to throw that high and but I don't know how like you know Hachimitsu was able to drop all of that like this and <laughs> that was full anime logic that's impossible to happen she was throwing the balls like this you know like how is it possible you're throwing the ball like this how will you get the power you know and <laughs> if you throw it like this you know i could understand all right maybe it can reach there but she was throwing it like this i can not only one but like two to three balls at the same time i'm like wow this is some great anime logic how is that happening like, how is that even possible it was that high up okay anyways <laughs> Some way or the other, she was able to kind of put in a few balls there in the net, but unfortunately they lost because by the end of it she got tired. And uh, all right, so that was that. And the next one obviously was the relay, and everyone was just praying that Izumi's uh, uh, shoelace doesn't come undone in the middle of the race. <laughs> so all right, um, so everyone's ready there, you know, like they give each other the uh, uh what do you call it uh, the you know, the the cheer the cheer, uh, the cheer no what is it called um they give they give each other the um oh, i don't know i can't follow, like i remember that word like you know that was not coming to my mind either way they kind of give each other like you know the mo the like the motivation or whatever and <laughs> uh, i don't know why but that word is not coming in my mind anyways um, so there is the place uh, <clears throat> the relay starts it starts with Nekozaki obviously and uh, we can see here uh, before that we can see that Hachimitsu and Shikimuni had a little conversation and we can see how Hachimitsu was so like you know tensed and stressed out and Shikimori was like don't worry you know <laughs> and Shikimori's face was like yep you're going to win this <laughs> so we begin with Nekozaki running, she she easily got the first place. Uh, start was running, and then she reaches Hachimitsu, and Hachimitsu keeps the pace. She's kind of falling behind, but still keeping the pace. She's little by little going forward, and as soon as she was thinking, like you know, oh my God, what's happening? Like you know, am I running? How is my leg moving? Is this the left leg or is the right leg? I knew it at that moment that she is going to trip. As soon as you, like, you know, there's like this weird feeling, like, I don't know why it's like a weird feeling. I also had this feeling, like, you know, and you usually trip in this type of situation where you forget how, what you're like, you know, like you're running and you're so tired that your legs kind of give out and you forget which leg to put in front and whatever and kind of trip that type of a like sensation. And as soon as she was thinking which leg it is, I was like, oh boy, she's going to trip. Like, you know, her leg is just dead tired. You know, like she, she's not used to these type of like, you know, situations, even though she practiced still. And uh, yeah, she kind of tripped, fell down and oh boy. And that, and you know about the, the thing about the situation, if this was Izumi, I feel like he would have stood up and just run again. You know why because he actually trips so much that he's used to it he's used to tripping so much that he knows like oh i just tripped uh, let me get back up again and run like that would be the thing hachimitsu however i don't think she ever tripped before like you know even during the practice session she did not trip she was just slow so here she trips i guess for the first time and falling down she's like what's happening like you know why am i falling down what like you know like my legs are not moving and you know that type of a sensation and she's just confused she's just confused at that moment she doesn't know what to do she doesn't know whether to stand up what to do whether to run whether to uh like you know kind of her leg is hurting as well i'm pretty sure at that moment so and after that when like you know, was like uh like you know like don't give up like get up or something like that he said like that her confusion kind of went away and she realized like you know her friends are relying on her she gets up and starts running again uh, obviously she's hurting her legs just bleeding and everything she gives it to izumi and uh, all right 
<clears throat> and then she almost falls down, like, uh, kind of grab him, uh, they grab her. So, <clears throat> Izumi starts running now, and, uh, okay, and the thing about Izumi was he was able to keep that pace, you know, he, he was almost going to fall once, one of her, his shoes came out, and I was like, okay, just drop your shoes and run. <laughs> And I, I guess he did the same, like, you know, that thing. He, he decided to ditch the other shoe as well and started running. <laughs> and the thing about this is, like, you know, like, bare feet, you can run pretty, like, you know, fast. But, like, you know, it, like, you know, with shoes on and with bare feet, you know, like, you can run a lot faster than with shoes on. Uh, but the thing about bare feet is, like, you know, like, anything can go, get stuck and like, you, you might get hurt very badly. And... Um, you know, because of the, you know, the, the road and everything. Maybe there's something in, in there which might like a prick your leg or something. But bare feet, you can run very fast. And he was kind of wearing socks, but still, he, he started like, you know, keeping up the pace and went there, gave it to Shikimori. And as soon as it got to Shikimori, obviously, like we knew, like, you know, the, the Shikimori and Inu Zuka would be able to kind of cover the thing. So he gives it to her and. Uh, Shikimori just boosts past everyone like and just covers all the big, huge distance becomes second and By the end of it like you know, she kind of gave like a huge burst of like you know, of power That's why she started getting a little bit tired and she wasn't able to surpass or overtake the final person But Inuzuka was there she he could easily Like you know do that <laughs> I love the fact that <laughs> Inuzuka actually looked back and he was like, oh my god, if he, like, his, her face is not happy at all. Like, if he lose here, you know, like, she's probably going to kill me, so I need to win. <laughs> so, <laughs> she, you know, like, Inuzuka was like, alright, let's do this. He, he grabs the baton and starts running and covers the extra distance, overtakes the final person and wins the race. So, there you go. And yep, everyone's happy and you know, like they kind of hug each other and everything. Izumi goes and hugs uh, Inuzuka, then goes and hugs Shikimori. Obviously, Shikimori is just <laughs> embarrassed at that. And Hachimisu is just there, like you know, happy. And uh, this is the first time I think we kind of see her smile like that. And it was like obviously she she or, like all the time she's smiling. But that was like a genuine smile from the bottom of her heart, I think. And uh, like, you know, the deadpan face is gone. She's genuinely happy. And she's like, like, thank you guys. Like, you know, like, eh, uh, you guys are the best. I, I, like, you know, I'm glad that I met you. Uh, like, I met you guys. And uh, yeah, you won. And like she said, this, this whole thing was not for her. Like, people, like, this is the thing, you know, like, for, for one, like, you know, for, for himself or herself, people do so much less, and, like, you know, they can kind of be like, ah, you know, this thing, maybe I should not do it. But whenever there's something or someone else involved in it, who you genuinely care about, you know, you feel like giving it a little bit of your, like, you know, enthusiasm and everything. So usually it was Hachimitsu, like Hachimitsu said, like I always thought, why the hell do we even run? Like what's the point of it? So if this was like a solo race or something, she would have probably just not do, done it properly because it's like, you know, like it, it only affects her result and she doesn't care about it. But since everyone is like, oh, let's win this. She also felt like, yeah, like, you know, like if we win, you know how much happy would it make these like you know my friends they would it, it would make them very happy and i want to see that like this only comes when you know like when a person genuinely cares about all the others who are involved in that situation like if if hachimitsu was like a stranger to all of all the others she would have probably not done anything she would have probably just did whatever she did and lost the race but since these people are people who she genuinely cares about and she wants them to be happy as well you know she gave it her all and yeah by the end of it she got a result that she never thought she would ever get which is the result 
uh, that they won. The taste of winning, which is, I think, the first time that she got this taste, winning in a sports category. I'm pretty sure she never did that before. She never became first in any kind of sports category before. She doesn't like these type of things. But the taste of winning in something that you are not good at and you usually do not give it your all and your friends are also involved in it and everything all together yeah i'm pretty sure like she had like you know her she, she had an amazing amazing experience at that moment and like you know the the emotion that she felt at that moment was just so much that you know her deadpan face completely changed and we could see her genuinely smiling from the bottom of their heart her heart and like here's the thing you know like however we say that oh i don't care about the result and everything people want to win you know like that's i, I feel like that's like our, our, our instinct or our genuine like you know everyone wants to win like hachimitsu as well you know she usually doesn't care about it but if she wins in something obviously that's good so i don't think there's any person in the world who would be like oh i won i hate that i should have lost no one would say that everyone like you know, whenever they win everyone is happy so even if like you know like someone who doesn't win most of the time and not good at something you know like like when they win obviously it's like a new experience for that for them and for hachimitsu here she never thought she would win at a sports like you know category before and winning here is like such an inexplainable feeling I feel like that euphoria in itself was so much and seeing her friends happy as well was just really good and she was so happy at that moment and yeah that was I, I feel like this episode was kind of Hachimitsu centric which I which I appreciate a lot because uh, we kind of got a lot of episodes with a lot of other characters being the main focus the main characters Shikimori and Izumi were also the main focus most of the like you know show they were the focus and we kind of got a focus on Kamiya and I, I can you can say that this episode is kind of focused on Hachimitsu, which is kind of nice. So yeah, that's it. So that's my reaction to this episode. This was episode number 10. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week with the next episode of Shikimori's Not Just a Cutie. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.